Welcome to the Law on Partnerships and Private Corporations. Now that we know what a partnership is, and now that we know that a clear intent to form a partnership is important, we now ask the next important question. Is there a limit regarding the number of partners who may be involved in a partnership? Again, we go back to the definition of partnership in Article 1787, which says, by the contract of partnership, two or more persons bind themselves to contribute money, property, or industry to a common fund with the intention of dividing the profits among themselves. So there you have it, two or more persons may form a partnership. We have mentioned and we have explained that a partnership as defined is essentially a contract. Now we go now to the next um, characteristic of a partnership and that is a partnership has a juridical personality. Okay. Now before we go and discuss what this concept is about, we need first to differentiate the concept of a natural person and a juridical person. First, we have to define what a natural person is. Simply stated, a natural person is a human being. That's defined in the case of Limhoko versus Intestate Estate of Fragrante. On the other hand, a juridical person is considered under our law as a distinct entity, as a separate entity, although it does not have the physical attributes of a natural person, although it does not have a physical body, which can move, which can act by itself, it is still considered nevertheless under our law as a person. Now, Article 44 of our Civil Code enumerates who or what are considered as juridical persons. And from this enumeration in Article 44 of our Civil Code, number 3, we can see that partnership is among those which is considered as a juridical person specifically those which are organized for private interest or purpose and uh, entities to which the law grants a separate juridical personality. It is also emphasized here that um, the personality of the juridical person is separate and distinct from that of the partner. This principle that the partnership has a separate and distinct juridical personality from the personality of its partners was reiterated or emphasized in Article 768, 1768 rather, of the Civil Code, which reads, the partnership has a juridical personality separate and distinct from that of each of the partners. Now what does it mean or what are the implications when we say that a partnership is a juridical person which has a personality separate and distinct from that of the partners. Well, as we mentioned earlier, it means that the law treats, or under the eyes of the law, the, per the partnership is treated as a person who is separate and distinct from the personality of the partners. It means that um, the partnership, being a separate juridical entity or a separate person, it can sue and be sued under its own name. It can own and transfer and sell properties under its own name. An example of this would be found or can be found in Article 1774 of the Civil Code which specifically says that any immovable property or an interest therein may be acquired in the partnership name. Not under the name of the partners but in the partnership name. So this clearly emphasizes that the partnership can own assets under its own name it being a separate juridical person. Now we go to the nature of contribution of the partners. It is clear from the definition of a partnership in Article 1787 that the contribution of partners may take the form of money, property, or industry. Again, let me read that to you. 1787 says, by the contract of partnership, two or more persons bind themselves to contribute money, property, or industry so those are the forms which the contributions may take 
the partners again may contribute either money, property, or industry to the partnership. The nature of a partner's contribution to the partnership will dictate what kind of partner he or she will be. Partners are classified well in one way according to their um, contributions to the partnership. Partners may be classified into a capitalist partner, meaning the partner contributes money or property into the common fund of the partnership, or a partner may also be classified as an industrial partner where he or she contributes only his or her industry or services to the partnership's common fund. Now that we mentioned that contributions may take the form of money, property, or industry, let's also discuss what are properties or what is considered a property under our, under our law. Now, property under our law may be classified as movable or personal property. It may also be classified into immovable or real property. Now, examples of real property are, uh, are land buildings. They can be or they are enumerated in Article 415 of the Civil Code. On the other hand, personal properties those are defined and enumerated in Articles 416 and 417 of our Civil Code. But property not being the subject matter of um, this lecture series, maybe we can just leave it at that at the moment. Now, for customs brokers or for future customs brokers, in the event that you acquire your professional license after you pass the board exam, that particular license can it be considered property which you can contribute to a partnership? Now, let's be guided by this case, Acevedo Optical versus Court of Appeals. This was a case decided by the Supreme Court in 2000. And it's stated here in this case, in the decision of the Supreme Court, it says here that a professional license is the grant of authority to a natural person to engage in the practice or exercise of his or her profession. Further, in the case of Acevedo Optical, it was emphasized that your professional license is not considered property. Further, it provides in its decision, a license or a permit is not in the nature of a contract between the sovereignty and the licensee and is not a property in the constitutional sense. A license is rather in the nature of a special privilege of a permission or authority to do what is within its terms. It is not in any way vested, permanent, or absolute. So, it simply means that license is not considered property under our law, specifically a professional license, such that it can be considered as property which can be contributed to a partnership.